This is the easiest and fastest way to create any type of viral content that you've seen on the internet, in addition to being the best, fastest, and easiest way to produce AI influencers, keeping them consistent, keeping the background consistent, keeping their clothes consistent, and everything else. Let's take a look. So this is a tool called VidBuzz.io. The link will be down in the description below. Now, full transparency, I co-own this tool and I helped build this from the ground up specifically for this reason. So check this out. If I click this little button called Media Library, right here I have a bunch of different, you know, screenshots that I can use as reference images. And so just for the sake of example, let's go ahead and do this one right here, this like Star Wars type image. I'm going to select that. And now I can just come right here and click generate prompt and it's going to build a prompt based off of that screenshot. So now we have our prompt here and if I want to generate some images based off of this, I can just go ahead and click that button. And now as we can see here, we have some images that are very, very similar. But here's the cool part. If I come up here and I click character mode, I can now switch to my character Kira my AI influencer, and I'm just gonna click this button again. And now what we should see is Kira in a similar outfit, uh, similar situation right here. And there we go. Now we have Kira in this, you know, Jedi Star Wars type uh, situation right here. And I would say that looks pretty awesome. But let's say I want to modify this a bit. I wanna say, make it so the outfit is white. Okay, so now it's going to readjust this prompt, making the outfit white. And here's our new prompt. I'll click the button again, and we should hopefully see her in a white outfit this time. And boom, there we go. But we want her to be a Jedi and not a Sith, so we need her to have blue lightsabers. So I'll say, make the lightsabers blue. Okay, so now once again, it's going to rewrite this prompt with blue lightsabers. Here's our new prompt. Let's see what we get. And there we go. That is totally awesome. So basically, we just went from this screenshot right here to creating this image of my influencer changing the outfit to white and making the lightsabers blue extremely easily without having to use my brain at all. Now, if you're wondering where I collect all of these screenshots, what you can do is come over here to the AI niche categories. And this is basically going to show all of the most viral AI niche categories. Right here, we can see a category called AI influencers. And so if I click that, now all of a sudden I can see all of the most viral AI influencers on Instagram and TikTok. I'm gonna go ahead and sort this by the last 30 days. And just like that, I can see the most viral AI influencers over the last 30 days. So I can just kind of browse through this content let me go ahead and create something similar to that. So I can just take a screenshot and then click this little button right here, paste that screenshot into my media library. And now I have this image in my media library. And so now coming back into this section, if I open up the media library, we can see here's the new screenshot. I'll select that, use that as the selected image, build a prompt off of that. There we go. I'll switch this into character mode, choose my character right here and click generate. And just like that, we now have my AI influencer wearing a similar outfit. Now, if I don't like the results for whatever reason, I can just come back to this generate prompt button, click that button again, and now it's going to re-roll this prompt and give me a new variation of that prompt. So I can just go ahead and try it again and see if I get something that I like better. And there we go. Now I have a new version of this outfit. And of course, obviously, if I want to make custom modifications, I can say make the top yellow or basically tell it to do whatever I want, and then it will go ahead and add those modifications. Let's see what we get here. And there we go, now it changed it to yellow. Now let's say that you don't wanna start with any sort of reference image at all. Well, in that case, it's super easy as well. I'll just type in a woman at a biker bar drinking whiskey. Okay, so I'm just gonna take that basic prompt, click this button, and it's going to make the prompts better. So there we go, that's the first iteration. Let's see what we get. And there we go, now we've got my influencer at a biker bar, although it doesn't really look like a biker bar. So I'm gonna say, be more detailed about the biker bar aesthetic and the clothes that she is wearing should be biker clothes. Be very detailed. So there we go, here's the new prompt. Let's see what we get. 
and boom there we go i would say this is definitely more of the look that we're going for so you get the idea you can keep adjusting the details to get it to do exactly what you want without hardly having to use your brain it's pretty nice i would actually maybe go with this one right here now here's where things start to get really cool let's say i wanted to build a sequence of images using this as the starting image what I'm gonna do is come down here to this little check mark, and now it's going to set that as the reference image up here. And now what I'm gonna do is come over and switch this to consistency mode. And what that means is I can now start making modifications to this image while keeping the environment and the character and the clothes and everything will remain consistent. So in this case, I'm going to say, add a man into the scene. We are looking over his shoulder at the woman. I'll click that button. It's going to set that as the new prompt. And so I'll generate off of that. And there we go. Now we can see that it did add the man into the scene. It kept everything consistent, but we don't want him behind her like that. So I'm gonna modify this to say, add a man into the foreground. We are looking over his shoulder at the woman. Let's see if that gives us the result that we're looking for. And boom, there we go. We did get the man into the scene. We're looking over his shoulder at Kira. Now it did change her position a little bit, but she's wearing the same outfit, the same background, and we have a few different versions here. And so you can obviously choose the one that fits your scene or your story the best. But this is super awesome because this is how you can get multiple perspectives while keeping the scene, the environment, the clothes, the characters consistent. Let's try another little experiment here. I'm gonna say, keep everything the same, but change the camera angle to a side profile. We'll set that as the new prompt, generate from there, and boom, there we go. Now we're seeing a side profile of the character. Once again, you have a few different options here, and this is probably the best one right here. Now, the reason that's really cool is because now all of a sudden we have the ability to create some really cool shots. So here I'm in Kling AI. And basically what I'm gonna do is make it transition from this image to this image, which wouldn't really be possible unless the environment and the character was consistent. So here inside of Kling, I've added this as the starting image, and now I'll just click the end frame, and I'll drag in the second image as the end frame. And for the prompt, I'm just going to say, a woman is arguing with a man, the camera orbits around her, bringing the man into frame. I'll click generate and let's see what we get. And after waiting for that, here is what we ended up with right here. And as you can see, it's doing a perfect job kind of orbiting around her, bringing the man into view. They're obviously having an argument of some sort. And because the environment and the clothes and the characters are consistent, we're not seeing any strange distortion or morphing or anything like that. It looks like a totally natural scene. Maybe they're arguing about the fact that she's hogging all the beer and not giving him any. Now, if you wanna learn more nuanced advanced strategies, such as how to repair the face when the face becomes distorted or how to upscale and create more realistic skin textures or how to add multiple consistent influencers into the same scene. And of course, all the best lip syncing methods to make us talk like this. You can find all of that information here in the Creator Secrets community on school. If you open up the classroom, there are modules on all of these different niche categories and you can find that information here inside of the influencer category. Exactly, thanks Kira. You can find the link to that down in the description as well. That's it for this one. See you in the next video.